Hey guys, Overwatch 2 has a new season coming out, season 13, and this is the trailer for that. Now, I'm actually very excited about this season, not for any usual reasons, but because I find Overwatch does really, really well for the spooky season. I feel like every time Halloween rolls around, there's been a lot of good cosmetics, a lot of good events, and the game is usually just at its best around this time of year. Now, whether we'll get repeats of the Jungensteins, Revenge, and Wrath of the Bride events, or if we get something brand new uh we shall see i really do hope we get something new this year however if we don't i completely understand considering all the layoffs and general change in direction of the company i i mean i get it i get it if there's nothing new i just i really hope there's something else besides cosmetics to the season that's what i want now but it, now that speaking of cosmetics for the mythic i have no idea who they're gonna choose originally we thought there was a pattern and then they maybe there was a new pattern but but then uh, yeah no i think it's, they generally just pick who they think is best for the theme and for the witches theme i have no idea who they're gonna choose i feel like it's such a broad theme that it's so easy to just apply it to anyone they probably just went through a bunch of concept art until they found someone who had the best most customizable skin so if i had to guess i would hope it's a tank like diva or ramatra but if it's a dps hey there's a lot of dps DPS heroes who need mythics we need to get through them somehow if it's another support i will be so sad i'm so sorry guys that <laughs> we have so many support mythics we do not need that many we need a dps or a tank especially a tank again i'm really hoping for a new event understand if there's not but i i do i do i love the halloween events so much even i guess even if they do come back the old ones i'll be happy with those i will actually replay them and play them a lot but uh, here's to something hopefully new let's go ahead and get into it Use of tobacco. Cassidy is in this trailer. Ooh! A widow skin. Spellbinder. Oh, that looks so good. Her, she's the mythic. Oh, I. Bro. Oh, bro. Does not look like a widow at all, but I will be there. I 100%. Halloween terror. Oh, that looks great. Oh man, the grapple! Oh, oh by the way, I play a lot of Widow. <laughs> I should probably say that. That's why I'm having a good a uh, a good reaction. Ooh, Li Jing, Chungusstein's laboratory. All right, that Rhine skin is old. Select talents to evolve your abilities. Oh my god repurpose pve i'm so happy repurpose pve i'm so happy <gasps> soul harvest like the old soul orbs still a top tier reaper screen came out the first year still good circuit royal and <gasps> the royal update oh they're all getting updates this season aspects gilded <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I'll have to relook at that. Oh yeah, right. The My Hero Academia already announced. I filmed a reaction to this, but I don't think I put out the video. But uh, TLDR, I think they look weird and good at the same time. Shop bundle. Oh, Ilariari looks great. Okay, a recolor. Good skin to recolor. That was ah, another recolor. Also a really good. Ooh, that one actually looks better than the, uh, the white one. <gasps> Ooh! Freak. Like <gasps> the next, the, the next tank! Okay, okay, there's a lot of things to look over. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm actually very excited about this one. All right, so the Widow skin. Beautiful. I play a lot of Widow. Like, uh, I think she's my third most played hero overall on a, um, what I have 2.5 thousand hours in this game, and she's my number third most played hero. So, yeah, again, when I say I play Widow, I play Widow. Oh my god, it, it doesn't look enough like her. I guess my one gripe, I hate when they give her, like, normal skin, um, instead of her usual little, uh, you know, blue, purple, 
Nicole Hayes. I, I'm not too much a fan of when she's like quote unquote regular, but also like I can understand why they decided to make that decision. I just, I do prefer when Widow looks, she has her usual tinge. But yeah, that, oh, you like, like uh, goggles and the, the two, oh my God, I love two-tone hair. I think it looks so nice. The overall outfit. I wonder, again, when I said, I thought mythic skins when they, um, I think they just throw a bunch of concepts out and whoever looks the best, that's who they choose. And I, I'm actually glad it was Widow for this. I was a little scared that they were just gonna kind of some seasons they it doesn't feel like they're really good fit but no this this looks good and the gun okay my fear my one fear as good as the skin looks that the gun will look ugly the gun cannot look ugly please don't let the gun look ugly and the different colors of course i love i will always pick probably the, the red version the one that's most warmly colored i just i love warm colors a lot it's my favorite oh yeah look at the little effects so cute and then oh this oh i love the grapple being like those little uh those little laser effects you would see in custom games essentially ah oh, looks nice and we're gonna guess this little effect on the brim is probably a level four kind of like how reaper's mythic skin he had his most of his effects were on level four which i think actually works out pretty great and then li Zhang with the again actually i don't remember if has did li Zhang have uh halloween decorations before i got kind of excited about it but i'm like i don't remember it I so this must be a new decorated map. Another science laboratory. Select talents to evolve your abilities. So this must be the limited time mode. Again, I'm so excited we're getting a new one. And it's something PvE inspired. I, I know PvE is canceled, but they have so much work they did for it that if they can inject it into these game modes more often, I would love that. Letting that hard work not go to waste. And then, oh, I love soul harvest. Again, reusing that um, model of the soul from way back at the beginning of over watch one it's a little nostalgic and the fact i can't believe all of these map updates are coming this season like unless this is like baiting me somehow and these are like it's just being announced that these but no no you can see it like you can see like they have some cover here at spawn which they needed and these stairs are the stairs are gone which is good let me see what else has changed because again, one of the problem, okay, the problem with Circuit Royale is the long sight lines. They had a really big sniper map. When I load in this map, I, I load Widow. Like it's, it's a throw not to. Um, and again, I am a Widow player, but I don't want that to be at the expense of other people. I would rather maps be more fair to more styles and giving players more options than having to only have one hero they have to play. And Dorado's problem, again, it was a high ground map. So this one, uh, having that access to the stairs is a really good update because defending team automatically pretty much has a space secured for this high ground and that's the problem that's what makes it so hard um so giving the attackers a chance at taking high ground or at least contesting it without having to run dive every single time that's a good change it means that more comps are more viable and i love that this is indeed like this was the problem spot they really are showing i mean i would rather see a little bit more of Cirque royale to see if they actually address most of the problems with the sight lines but this one this is this is great even if this is the only dorado change i would be happier with this map just with this change uh but i would like a few more oh okay okay so havana another sniper map again this long sight line so this is probably covering back here because i know with widow's uh drop off range being changed i think it's it's still ridiculous i mean i mean she's a sniper she still shoots very far so she can't she couldn't one shot people behind this vehicle when uh, you're up on a high ground, uh, you would still, they would still have a little bit of HP left, but this probably blocks the line of sight for more when you're up there. I'm going to assume that's why that banner is there now. We didn't see much more, but New Bonnie, oh my god, New Bonnie, the worst map that's in the rotation at the moment. And that, is that attack? Yeah, that's attack respawn, right? Because yeah, attack respawn was kind of, I don't know what they were thinking with the attack respawn. I'm going to be honest, but when I look at it, when I load and gain them, I'm just like, why do they, why do they do that? <laughs> Actually, uh, the little bus placement reminds me of King's Row, you know, having that uh, bus right in front of attacker spawn to protect people coming out of spawn. All right. So aspects. So gilded aspects. So, okay. So this changes previous mythic skins to make it gilded. So probably like gold in similar way you make a gold weapon. Yeah. Cause black and gold 
So this and Kiriko and also Widow and then Mercy. So you can have a gold and black version. I wonder if there's more variations, the gilded aspects, or if this is the only one, because it's the only one they're showing is just black and not gold, which is a good, it's a great color combo, but it's not my favorite. So this isn't too much for me. I think it looks nice, but it's not for me. And of course, my Hero Academia. Um, the fact that Juno, it's so weird. New heroes have been ha coming out with less and less cosmetics. And I genuinely think it's less nefarious than a lot of community tries to claim. And it's more, I think these heroes are being finished so close to release that they don't have enough time to make legendary skins. But then I see this and I'm like, well, it's done. She just came out, but it because for those who don't know, legendary skins take about nine months of development time to make. And if you don't have the model done until the hero releases, then it should theoretically take nine months for a hero to get a legendary skin. So if they're releasing like real close to when they're done, you know, they're not going to have a legendary skin for a long time. But uh, here is Juno with a legendary skin and Venture still has none. <laughs> it won't be till next season. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. I thought I had it figured out, but I don't. Oh, it looks great, by the way. I know some people, oh, I saw some really great concepts of Ramacha for All Might. I understand why they went with Reinhardt because it's kind of a, you didn't even think about it. You just kind of choose it kind of pick, uh, the safe pick, I should say. But oh man, the Ramacha concepts for having Small Might and All Might and his nemesis form and uh, his usual Omnic form. It looks, it looks so good. <laughs> All right, and then shop, yeah, whatever. Th this skin looks great. Uh, it's cute. We're so close. We're so close to a girly pop battle pass i can smell it one day and it'll have that reaper skin that everyone wants the cat made one this is a recolor this is a this recolor and the next one looks so much better than the previous recolors these skins got because i think um the the original black cat there's white cat there we go white cat i i don't like that recolor that much for Devo, but this one looks great what was it neon cat was the recolor for this one i don't think that one looks good i mean i i, I appreciate the reference but i the, this one looks so much better and that's come for someone who hates blonde on somber i'd always rather the hair to be uh darker colors but the the actual skin it looks good it looks real good both of those do if we're gonna have recolors i want them to look good and these look good oh it must be is that her highlight intro you get with her oh she's like offering you an apple and it oh yeah love it oh Mer is that a cat girl mercy skin <gasps> soldier is he getting a mythic weapon oh there's probably a death post should i look at the death post if there is one i want to know more about this look you could yeah this 100 percent a mythic weapon so soldier has the mythic weapon for this season and widowmaker has the mythic skin two dps heroes which is fine i i did see some criticisms when anna's mythic weapon came out that there should be more priority to giving mythic weapons to people who don't have mythic skins which i understand and i agree with although secretly i'm very happy anna got her mythic weapon because i i 100 got it instead of getting the reaper Anubis for the battle pass I got Ana's mythic weapon because it, it just looks so good and I, I play Ana's my second most played hero <laughs> again on my 2.5 thousand hour account and then yeah Mer we saw oh we saw this uh there was a the survey skins that went out to see which ones they would make uh sometimes the, those get shown off uh, I think this was one of them or there was a similar concept for Kakoro Mercy oh that looks good I need to see the 3d model to make a final judge because sometimes the 2d looks great and then you see the 3d and you're like oh never mind i almost went to go see the death post i forgot at the end there's a teaser okay okay so freak this is the next tank 100 and also what let me see, let me hear it again because there was a what was it what kind of accent was that oh yes yeah, scottish so a scottish tank I know when we first, okay, for those who haven't been keeping up with everything that has ever been announced with Overwatch, we know that the next hero is a tank. He's not coming in season 13, he's in season 14 because heroes release every other season. However, at BlizzCon last year, because there is no BlizzCon this year, it got canceled. But in the previous year, when we first saw our footage of Venture, we saw the hero portrait for Juno there. And that's how we knew how, what Juno looked like ahead of time. But in the playtest, there was a placeholder icon for this hero the new tank hero that's coming after and i know 
a lot of people, including myself, are worried that he he looks a little junkerish. So I'm already getting the vibe that okay, that's the vibe we were seeing. It wasn't junker, it was whatever this is. So there's this. What is this? What is that? Little tag, I can't read it. But there's like these crystals all around. And this is what's oh my god, this the map is probably updated. This is a I can't remember which oasis map it is that you start in i'm pretty sure this is one of them and maybe the map's updated similar to how juno was released yeah and especially like graffiti is usually something that's used for characters and even in real life something that is anti-establishment so i'm very excited maybe this is another like anti-hero like on their own faction that's not part of overwatch not part of talon not part of ishgar not part of anything we've already we've seen the death and here's his own logo. Maybe that's his own logo. Yeah, I'm very excited. Oh yeah, it looks so good. Again, I think these effects are a level four thing. I wouldn't be surprised if like these almost feather-like accents are also part of the level four. I'm gonna assume the gun can change. I'm gonna look a little keychain, a literal key on a chain. Yeah, the outfit is about what you could expect from Widowmaker. I've seen criticism that I actually very much agree with, with a lot of skins where the bottom, bottom half is usually pretty mid. And that's true on the skin, I won't lie. That most of the wowzers is like, it, looking from her hips up, I'm like, oh my god, the skin is like absolutely incredible. And then I look down and I'm like, oh, they didn't do too much. There was uh, just stockings. But no, it's, it's oh. oh, also there, she has little shiny effects. Let me play it one more time. Yeah, you can see it like sparkle. Again, I think that's part of the level four. I hope the gold gun is just the gold accents once again because there's some guns again that just when we put the gold gun on it it just it, they, it turns the entire thing gold and that's kind of boring to me i really hope they just interlace it into the gold parts because that would look real nice i would really like that although i don't know i feel like this skin this this version of the mythic with the blue it looks like it's the base it kind of looks real nice like genuinely you could just get the base mythic skin for this and that seems worth it not even to have to upgrade it and then you could say mythic prisms for later especially for apparently the soldier 76 mythic oh let's go check out the blog about it here we are the dev blog and i see that it actually goes into detail what the mythic for the widowmaker each level is she's a potions apprentice when she was that blue to a full-blown master of the dark arts oh Oh, this green one. Oh my god, those stockings. Never mind. I just said that the, it wasn't too much. That color combo looks so good. Oh, and the blue on the wings. Oh, so Widowmaker's mythic skin is more of like storytelling, showing her going from apprentice to a full blown master. Oh, they recolored. Recolored the Witch Mercy skin. A good one to recolor. But no, you know what? This one and the Kiriko one, which is called a witch, but she's really a fortune teller. I'm still mad about it, but her Kiriko recolor looks great. The Witch Mercy one is kind of mid, but it looks better than the White Mage. Uh, I think it looks way better than the White Mage version. I didn't really like the, the White Mage and the White Cat recolors. I thought they were kind of uh. No Halloween season is complete without the Halloween terror event, and this year the terrors have evolved. From the 15th to the 4th, you can enter Junkenstein's Laboratory, a brand new PvP mode with mutations that turn heroes into horrors and fast-paced team deathmatch rounds. Okay, team deathmatch rounds. Okay, so is it... I wonder if it's a 4v4 or if it's a 5v5. Each match introduces cursed talent cards that alter your hero's abilities, turning the battlefield into a chaotic playground of haunted power. Play as some of the most beloved heroes like Reinhardt, Moira, and Mercy, but beware, as the spooky mutations will challenge even the most seasoned players. Yeah, it'll challenge your muscle memory. <laughs> For those who love a co-op adventure, fan favorites Jungenstein Revenge, Wrath of the Bride, return all season long, with new challenges, enemies, and horrifying bosses. I will be playing. Explore haunted castles, solve eerie puzzles, and survive the onslaught of exploding zombie omnix as you uncover the dark secret secrets of alders burn you know it's so funny they say play as some of your most beloved heroes all right the my hero academia one i'm pretty sure there's no free one this time let me just scan, uh, scan a bit yeah no you know what it's been a while they used to originally for collabs have one free collab skin usually it was more of a epic skin but no 
no more free stuff. Unfortunately, because there's no free skin, the collabs now have less of a presence in the game. It's more of a just a uh, skip money now kind of thing, which is a little sad. I kind of wish they would do a limited time mode for collabs, but I understand why they don't. Or the upcoming Mythic Deliverance Soldier 76 weapon skin. Yep, I was correct. That was what that was. And for the first time, you can enhance your fully maxed out Mythic Hero skins with the prestigious Gilded Aspects from the Mythic Shop, launching with Sleep the Black and Gold color variants. Okay, so it is only black and gold. Future seasons will expand these aspects to include mythic weapon skins. Uh oh, I might, I might want to see what it looks like on Ana. <laughs> okay, so battle pass skins are Bog Witch Ana. Oh my god, I want to see what that looks like. Necrotic Witch Junker Queen. Ooh. Witchbane Soldier, Gnome Toby Yarn, and Monstrous Sigma, all designed to bring spooky Halloween flair to the battlefield. Uh oh, I want to see what those look like. All right, so overall, I'm very, very excited. I love, again, Overwatch and Halloween time. It, it always goes hard, always. And I'm so excited we have a limited time mode. I'm very excited for Junkenstein's Laboratory, especially because, again, it looks like they're recycling some of that PvE content, which I've been hoping they would do because we may not get PvE. Maybe never even again that we'll get another mission. But there is a lot of work the team has done for it. And I don't want it to just die on a hard drive somewhere. I would love to play it repurposed in other ways wherever we can. Because, you know, I have play, I have fun playing Overwatch 2. I, I really do. As much as, you know, so, some aspects of the game are a little more troubling than others. But I do enjoy playing the game and I love the limited time modes. I really do. So I, I can't wait to play in a couple days. All right, so that's all for this reaction. If you enjoyed that reaction, please leave a like and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel out a lot. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys then.